Hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about the integration of sec cube x. So let's see how this is done. So to start this question, let's suppose sec cube x is equal to i and let's proceed. So of course, let's add the integration sign as well. So the integration of sec cube x is equal to i. Let's suppose that and then is equal to sec cube x can be expressed as sec square x times sec x and now we're going to use the formula of integration by parts so we know the derivative of sec x so let's suppose this to be u and we also know the integration of sec square x so let's suppose this to be v so sec x the integration sign sec square x dx minus derivative of sec x with respect to dx the integration sign again sec square x dx dx so now what we are going to do is we are just going to write the integration of sec square x, which is simply tan x. So tan x minus the derivative of sec x is sec x times tan x. And then the integration of sec square x is tan x. So tan x dx. So this term can be written as tan square x and we all know that tan square x is equal to sec square x minus 1. So sec x times tan x minus this is tan x. So we can express this as sec square x minus 1. So is equal to sec x tan x minus so when this multiplies this it becomes sec cube x and when this multiplies this it becomes minus sec x and now let's also separate these two elements into different integrals so minus sec cube x dx this minus multiplies this one so it becomes plus sec x so is equal to sec x tan x minus now the importance of letting this question be i comes here so we can write this as i so let's write it as i plus the integration of sec x is ln sec x plus tan x so I have talked about the integration of sec x in my previous video and if you do not know how this came, I recommend you to watch that video. So we are just going to add the integration constant. So this is i. i is equal to this whole thing. So when this i goes to the other side, it becomes or 2i is equal to sec x tan x plus ln sec x plus tan x plus the integration constant. So therefore, i, which is the integration of sec cube x, is equal to sec x multiplied by tan x upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 ln sec x plus tan x plus c. Or if you want to divide the integration constant by 2 as well, you can write this as c dash. It does not really make a difference. So yes, this is the final answer to this question. I hope you learned how to do this and hope to see you in another video. Thank you.